Hey guys, what is up? It's Wellzo, and we have another Black Ops 2 commentary for you guys today. This time though, we are, it, you know, I was doing my Road to Primary Mastery. Well, this is just going to be kind of a normal commentary. And guess what I got? I finally got the nuclear. It is a miracle. I finally got it. I was playing with my friend Ian and Dominic, um, which is Wompsonator and Huzzler. Uh, this, you know, demo, like, this is not the game type that I would have gotten it in, if anything, because normally when I'm playing, a lot of the, uh, randoms that I get on my team will just randomly just go and plant the bomb and just get the game over with in a matter of minutes. So usually these type of gameplays don't happen on demo. I got one on, uh, headquarters a couple games before this. I think I got, like, 90 plus kills or something. But I wanted to show this one because I got the nuclear in it. So, from that death on, the streak begins. So, from here on, it's just kind of just massive killing and everything. Um, I can tell you, though, right now, I was getting really nervous um, towards the end of my streak. Look at this kid. I, I don't know how I didn't kill him, but I missed a lot of shots there. I think I missed, like, my whole mag, which is pretty depressing. Um, when you're going for your score streaks on demo, though, and, uh, like... I don't know. We weren't really spawn trapping, but if you do want to spawn trap, um, you want to plant A. I mean, this is Nuketown, but you want to plant whatever bomb you want to plant. Make that blow up, and if you're going your sh going for your streaks, make sure you don't die right before that bomb blows up and you're in the middle of your kill cam, because as soon as a bomb blows up, it gives you 300 points. So if you planted and blew it up, you get 500 total score. Um, so that really helps you out, and that's what helped me out right here, get, like, all my streaks right here at the beginning. So, yeah. Um, I think I might have said this in one of my videos, but I think stun grenades and flashes last, like, extremely long compared to other games, and I really don't understand why they would increase the time of that. I mean, it just doesn't even make sense to me. So, I, like, you go back... Alright, I want you guys... I don't want you to, but if you want to, go play MW3 or any of the older games and see how long the stuns and flashes last, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Unless you played before, but and there was a big, big difference in the lasting time of uh, the stuns and flashes. But anyway, this game, I decided to uh, switch up my streaks a little bit, um, take off the swarm, give that killstreak a break, because as soon as I call that in, usually everybody just leaves. Luckily, uh, nobody seemed to leave when I called in my Lodestar, so I decided to switch it up to Orbital VSAT, Lodestar Canine Unit, and the Lodestar on Nuketown just destroys everyone. I mean, it is ridiculous how much this gun, or that kill streak can just kill. I mean, you'll get probably like 10 to 15 kills with that thing, maybe even more, depending on if the team is uh, using launchers and stuff. If they're using launchers, then... You I mean you can't really help what's gonna happen there, so you just gotta keep raining down those rockets constantly. If you try to uh, hold up, then they'll eventually shoot you down. So you just really gotta be careful about that. So right here, my oh my goodness, you guys need to use dogs, especially on Nuketown. Like they just totally rape. I, I don't understand how they do it, but <laughs> I mean they just oh my god, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, you just try out some of these newer kill streaks, not newer, but just try out some of the higher kill streaks, and you'll get a lot of kills from them. So the first round, I went 41 and one. I didn't even know I was doing this good. Really, I was just playing the game, trying to get my kills, and I didn't even know I was on a streak either. My friend Ian, he's like, "Oh my God, Tyler, you're going 41 and one." I was like, "Oh my God, yeah, I am." I didn't even know. I really didn't even know, um, to be completely honest. Um, that's when I realized that I could possibly get the nuclear this game, and that's when I kind of started getting nervous. So uh, these VSATs, though, if you're going for a nuclear, they really do help. Uh, probably the best setup for the nuclear is UAV counter uh, VSAT, because those are some very, very helpful things. They don't get you kills, and they just help you out, because they won't know where you are if you call in the counter. You'll know where they are if you get the UAV, and the VSAT is just amazing. <laughs> that's all I have to say. Uh... So, like, I was trying to spawn trap, but I wasn't, like, I don't know how to explain it, because we really needed them to plant one bomb, and right, at, see, that's when the Relentless, I was like, oh god, you gotta be kidding me, 
But um, my friend Dom was using his Lodestar, and we really needed them to plant a bomb. And they couldn't plant because they couldn't get out of their spawn. And I don't know why I did this, but as soon as I got my dogs, I called them in. And uh, what happened was they couldn't, like, get to the bomb. So I had to, like, somehow we had to let them get there as soon as this stuff went away. And luckily one got there in time. And um, if you guys really want more time, you'll see what I do with the bomb later on. Uh, that's just a little tip if you want the bomb to blow up and your teammates don't. Uh, yeah, that'll help you out a little bit. But I was going to call in my load star, but I knew if I did, then that could screw one with the streak, and then two with the bomb not being planted. So, like I said, this was a really like nerve-wracking moment here because I knew I, was, I could get the... See, we're trying to let that kid go. But I knew I could get the the nuclear and that's why i was getting nervous because we only had 52 seconds left and i'm still like 10 kills off i was really hoping that they could go plant the bomb which they eventually did i think it's actually like coming up here once my dogs go away after that kid dies <laughs> that kid <laughs> oh goodness that was funny i was just telling like you gotta somehow tell your teammates not to do that kind of stuff and there's no way to tell them Unless you go to game chat and tell them, but I'm not gonna do that. I mean, that's like a waste of time. And this kid decides to shoot at the kid on the ground and uh, runs away from the bomb. So right, it looks 16 seconds. We're like, you gotta be kidding me. Go for the bomb, people. We we're getting like brutal right there. I was gonna get so mad if that lightning strike came down on this kid. Luckily, he planted, killed him. And this is what you do with the bomb when you really want it uh, to blow up. I, oh my goodness, I was so nervous right here. Like, my teammates, I was just begging for Ian and Dominic to cover me while I was doing this. I mean, if I'm on a brutal and I'm risking my life to get this bomb blown up, I mean, this is just so bad. I was really hoping that one of them could take it, but uh, I'm kind of glad that I did because I probably would have died out there anyway. So, you know, you just want to keep doing this until five seconds, and once it hits five seconds... Then you just run off and let it blow up, and that's when, right after this, I get my uh, nuclear. I don't know when, but I go up and kill, uh, call in my load star first anyway, because uh, I just want to get some extra kills. I was really going for a 100-plus game here, um, but, you know, it didn't happen, so <laughs> that really sucked. That would have been my second 100-plus game. I had a lot of really good gameplays over the weekend. When Nuketown 2025, or 24-7 comes out, I really, really am, like, excited for it. Not, I, I don't need XP anymore, but it's just fun. I mean, sometimes you get in games with those kids who are spawn trapping, but sometimes you get in those games where all the kids are noobs and don't know what they're doing, and it's just a lot of fun to just play with your friends and just destroy all these kids. Because I literally had three games right in a row where I had 80-plus kills, which is insane. <laughs> um, so that really, really... Help like that made my weekend honestly getting this nuclear it made my weekend oh my goodness you can see me talking up at the top and uh to ian and them i was like oh shit oh shit i was really like i'm to be completely honest i was scared because usually when i get on these streaks i somehow die like on uh mirage i died at 29 and 1 and there it was the nuclear pops out it's beautiful so yes that is the nuclear. I think I get one unstoppable medal, and then I die to this kid right here. Don't even know how he didn't die, but <laughs> who cares? I got the nuclear. <laughs> so that was uh that made my weekend. Definitely made my weekend. So I don't know really how much more to talk about here, but I'll just tell you a little bit like about the class again. Really, the PDW is probably the best gun that you can use. I'm telling you, this gun is a beast. Who cares if people call you a noob because you use it? It honestly is probably the cheapest gun in the game. So, who cares if the kids call you noobs and stuff? Just fucking use it. It is a boss gun. You will just about do good with it every game that you play. And I'm telling you, people who don't like it, just find the right attachments and just use it. It is a monster. I'm telling you, though, you'll see me using this gun a lot. I mean, a lot. So... 84 and 2, uh, that's, that's <laughs> one of the games that you don't really expect at all, I and mean, these type of games just happen. Now look at that kid, 9 and 56, and 18 and 50, I mean, these kids just did not back out, and that's what I love so much about some people, but anyway, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.